Cadence of Conflict, Asia, December 24, 2018. China detains two Canadians with remark and in the wake of a single Huawei executive's arrest. Given the surfacing connections the executive's family had to Mao, China likely views the value of arrested people as equally balanced. The West merely views China as having committed three criminal acts. Huawei has gotten into more and more trouble the more it has been in the spotlight. Now even Europe has its doubts. China's sources of money and influences are drying up more and more. But an opinion article from Bloomberg invariably proves that some car makers manage to keep their technology out of the hands of China, mainly by keeping it out of China until it was out of date. Moreover, China has made proposals within its government to allow foreign companies to keep their technology secret. So that should end any and every doubt about what a wonderful place China is for any and all manufacturing. On the military side, China is announcing that it is finally pursuing the same quiet submarine technologies that the U.S., Russia, and India are also pursuing. So that's it. The West should give up because, after all, China is going to win. The U.S., however, is in a different position. If China were to initiate a conflict with the U.S., say, by attempting to assert control over Taiwan by force if necessary, China might not get as much help from its rumored spy partner, Russia. Taiwan is unlike Crimea which held a referendum with overwhelming favor to return to Russia. And with the U.S. out of Russian-interested territories like Syria and Afghanistan, there is little Russia would have to object to in the U.S. following its own law to defend Taiwan already on the books. A recessed Congress is certainly willing. And that is the cadence of the conflict already seen in the Pacific.